Standard Bank DPA is a case where Standard Bank was accused of failing to prevent bribery by an associated person and it entered into a deferred prosecution agreement. Herbert Smith Freehills was the first firm to agree a deferred prosecution agreement with a prosecutor. So it was the first time that this process had been followed and it was the first time that that criminal offence had ever been alleged against the company. We had a relatively lean team on the case and some trainees. We also had assistance from US lawyers, Tanzanian lawyers, and also our regulatory team to advise on how to approach the different regulators that we had to deal with. I started working on this case in uh, my first few weeks here at the firm. Adjay was just very good at getting me involved um, very early on, even though I was only in the first few weeks of my seat. No one had worked on a similar case before, so my input was kind of as valuable as other people's in, in some senses. So some of the research that I did was later used in negotiations with the Serious Fraud Office. People's opinions are always heard and, and listened to, but because no one had direct experience of this, there was a real opportunity for everyone to participate to the fullest. I also helped finalise TPA documentation. I monitored press reports and court listings and I went on to attend DPA breakfast seminars, which the firm put on for clients, to tell them more about the DPA process. And then I kind of fielded questions with clients. You are plowing completely new ground. Um, you're working on things that have never been worked on before not only within the building, but also within the city and possibly the world. I was definitely uh, in at the deep end, but um, it was great.